So I've just put some color down there and this is on Yupa. I use a little bit of blending solution and I want to show you this is still slightly wet but if I kind of go back in here while it's damp but not completely dry you can see how you can get these really cool little patterns just by using a straw or you can use credit cards really anything. This is still wet so it's, what it's doing is it's kind of bleeding back in or smoothing out and the drier this becomes the more definition that you can get in here and this is a little, a little drier so as I kind of continue to work with this you can see how you'll get more pattern a little bit less of that smoothing out and then what people are always asking me is how do you get those perfect circles those dots and again it's depending on how wet your ink is so I'm just gonna put a little squirt of some orange over here and I'm using my little brush and I'm just gonna fill my brush up at the end here with a little bit of orange and if you tap on here you see how you can get those perfect almost perfect circles and then if I want to take a second color as this is still kind of blooming still drying I'm going to go in with a little bit of the watermelon here and I'm going to dot that again you see how it kind of disperses whatever color is behind it so if you want to change your colors while you're working with inks you can do that let me go with some botanical green just trying some different shades of color here and let's go ahead and dot that in here see so you can get those layers of circles and if your color doesn't come through if, if you dot it a second time or even a third time sometimes you can get that color un underneath to pull aside to make your new color kind of come through well, let's just dot another one over here in the red with just the green. And as my ink dries on my brush, these circles will tend to get a little smaller. So that one's not blooming quite as much as it did the first time. But they do grow. But you can get all those little dots in here these little circles just by using a little brushwork. Thanks for watching this quick little demo and if you'd like to see some online classes for watercolor or alcohol ink you can head over to my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com.